And I'm going to give the ladies three reasons why your man is either thinking about leaving you or left you. I am here to help. You probably don't support this man the way he's expressed to you. He wants to be supported. You got a man that's a rapper, actor, singer, dancer, comedian, janitor. He's probably sensitive about his work. And he probably doesn't let you know exactly how he wants you to support him. And you keep trying to remix and do things that you think. Just listen to what he told you to do. If a man tells you, hey, to get to my heart, you got to make a left and then make a right. Well, how about instead of a left, I pump fake left and then, no, no, no. No pump faking. Just go left. The biggest, craziest, most faithful groupie your man should have is you. Your man can have a million likes on a post, but not the one that matters. Reason number two, you don't suck enough. I understand you're a great wholesome woman, great background. You got a degree. You ain't none of these hoes out here, but, but, but he don't need you to be a hoe. Nothing makes a man happier than having a beautiful, smart, intelligent woman on his arm in the streets. And then she turned into this nasty, freaky, just disgusting, personal slut in the bedroom. In the bedroom, your job is to make your man insecure. Man, who else you been doing this to, man? What you learned this from? It's so good. And the final reason why your man is thinking about leaving you or has already left you, you're making things too complicated. Look, life is hard enough for everybody, right? And I ain't saying be a doormat. Just prioritize your issue. Is this problem really worth bothering this nigga? It's y'all. I can do that and still get cheated on. Well, if you thought you was going to lose the game, why even start? I'm here to tell you ladies how you can tell your man loves you. It ain't by him saying it every time you get off the phone. Phone. He makes your problems his problems. Some of you ladies have made ignorant, stupid, dumb decisions that have fucked your life up. Some of your decisions even predate his presence in your life. And somehow he decided to create solutions to your problems. Even if you get rid of this certain problem has no effect on him at all, he still decides to help you because it helps you live your life better. This man, your man, does things that he does not enjoy for your happiness. This nigga hates Half the shit you watch on TV, yet he's willing to binge watch all the way through season five because it makes you feel good. Let's go to a pain and sip. Your husband ain't even artistic. That's love. That's love. This next one you know real well. You know you get on this man's nerves. The world know you get on this man's nerves and he still allows you to do it. You will look at your man with a smile on your face and be like, am I getting on your nerves? <laughs> The fact that this man allows himself to go through any level of pain just to be with you, that's love. Your man has a future, with or without you. This nigga about to be the best SoundCloud rapper in history. He about to have all the groupies and bitches in his DM. However, when he speaks to you about his future, he says things like, when we make it, when we get that big house, when we blow up. That don't sound like a nigga that's playing around to me. He's speaking upon his future with you in it that's love ladies it's time we have a talk remember that freaky extra extra freaky stuff you used to do that one time you got a little drunk and you experimented with a female you experimented with a couple of females and a couple of males came in remember that one time you did that one extra freaky thing out in that one church park online remember that one ex-boyfriend that kind of turned you out and had you doing all kind of freaky stuff using bondage recording each other four five different cameras it was some good times huh you used to be straight wild out here <laughs> yeah if you ain't doing that to your man now stop talking about that shit if that was the old you stop talking about it don't tell your current man how you used to wake your ex-man up with fellatio in the morning this man has to bed for it on his birthday we not trying to hear nothing extra freaky that you used to do from the moment a man meets you he is trying to play catch up with every sexual thing that you've ever done and if you're not about that life no more don't even act like you was like damn i like to record too What's up, ladies? I'm going to help you understand men just a little bit better with this story. man tells a woman, look, I have a dream, and I want you to come with me down this crazy road. I got a car. The road has lots of ditches and valleys and crackheads back with money to gas it. Okay, so they riding together, side by side, laughing, joking. His car keeps breaking down. He has to change his tires three, four, five times in the rain. But she's still riding shotgun. It's other niggas riding past with Lamborghinis and Rolls Royces. They're not even as talented as this nigga. But they're checking his girl, telling him, hey, get out that bum-ass nigga shit, ride with a real nigga. Never does that. On top of that, he can't really drive at night. His eyesight is bad. So every night he has to get a hotel so that they can rest. And he can wake up and drive safely. And she's willing to ride shotgun with the 
him every single night he does this and at some point they eventually make it to their destination fame fortune notoriety all of that and then she's so happy she tries to get into his new lamborghini that he got but it's already a chick sitting right there she's like what the hell is going on he's like oh no i got it from here thanks a lot sweet gives her a stack of cash gives her his old car and drives off what's the lesson here riding shotgun ain't enough not one time did she help change the tire didn't even hold an umbrella so he wouldn't get wet didn't even offer to drive at night so he can rest but they could keep going anybody can sit in the car and look pretty gotta do something to make the road easier y'all still don't cheat you not listening cheating is not leaving you <laughs> what's up everybody it's comedian chris mosley and i am here to give you five reasons why you're single this version is for the ladies hold up five fingers and for everything that doesn't have anything to do with you put one finger down you ready reason number five your standards are way too high for your tolerance you want a big baller you want someone to pay all the bills all the rent pay for all your expenses but then you still want to come at this man with attitude aggression opinion probably don't want to hear all the talk back but yet you come with all the talk back like i ordered it at a fast food restaurant hey, let me go ahead and get some aggression with fries reason number four you blame your zodiac sign for everything i can't help but punch negroes in the face i'm an aquarius yes you can you can't help it you know how crazy you sound knowing that there's something wrong with you and just willing to accept it because of when you were born. I don't care if you were born on April 5th. Don't punch me in the face. Go to therapy. Meditate. Do something about it. Reason number three. You represent yourself the wrong way on social media. Basically, you look like a hoe. Study showed that last year, people spent more than two and a half hours on Facebook. Now, women say that they can tell they're going to have sex with a man in 30 seconds of conversation. So don't you think in two and a half hours on your page, I should know if your wife is material or not? If you got pictures of your titties and you talking about rest in peace grandma, first grandma in the picture. All I see is titty. Every picture and video and post is you out clubbing, twerking, turning up. You got a million likes. Everybody all up on your stuff. No one's going to look at that and be like, I'm going to make that my wife one day. You're just going to think, man, I'm going to hit that one day. It's probably going to stop at that. It's just Facebook. It's just Instagram. It's just your life. You don't want to die alone. Reason number two, you throw your kids in the mix way too early me and my child a package deal you right but but one package to come before the other a relationship and a stepdaddy ship is two different ships i gotta make sure i like you first what if i like your son more than i like you now nah, now nah, i'm all conflicted not a son all mad could have had a stepdaddy if you wasn't such an aquarius and the number one reason why you ladies are single because you refuse to change your surroundings some of y'all keep running into the same characteristics of different dudes so now you want to make everybody seem like they're the same it's really your day-to-day -day activities and what you're going for that never changes that's why the people that you keep seeing are the same Skip the club one weekend. Go to a library. Go to a museum. Go to Alaska. Go anywhere different that you're not accustomed to going to. Do something different and you will see different people which will expand your mind and you may end up having a boyfriend and then having a husband. You know what I'm saying? How many fingers do you got up? If you don't got no more fingers, give me a dab, my nigga. There you go, you little perfect bitch. Got you a little boo right now just waiting for you to say, let's be together. If you got all five of your fingers up, slap yourself.